In this video, we're going over the 1964 Lincoln penny of the United States. Now, there's some very interesting history that goes behind these penny coins, and we will be talking about this coin that sold for $27,500. Now, these coins are out there still, so you need to be keeping your eyes peeled. But firstly, let's take a look at this penny. So you'll see the words, In God We Trust, above Lincoln's head, and Liberty down below at the left-hand side. And if you look at the bottom right there, you're going to see the date and a mint mark or no mint mark depending on where it was produced. Now speaking of the mint mark, did you know the 1964 pennies were produced in Philadelphia and Denver? Now ones without a mint mark were produced at Philadelphia and ones with a D mint mark were from Denver. Now let's talk about why 1964 was such an important year for the US mint. It was a year of turmoil. The US mint had made millions of peace dollars which they melted down and they were in the midst of switching from silver coins to clad coins. Plus, they had just come out with a Kennedy half dollar to honor President Kennedy, who had been assassinated in 1963. Interestingly, the U.S. Mint had already made arrangements for the 1965 Kennedy half dollar to be a 40% silver coin. The quarters and dimes were also going to change, so 1964 was the last year of the 90% silver quarters and dimes, except for modern proof dimes, of course. But back to the penny, in 1964, the U.S. Mint produced 2.6 billion, that's right, billion with a B, pennies in Philadelphia. Out of the 26 billion they produced, there's only been one to achieve the 68 grade. So if you happen to get one of those, it's going to be worth a pretty penny. Now at the Denver Mint, they produced 3.8 billion pennies, and there have been four that achieved the Mint State 67 plus grades. And those coins are worth about 4,750 bucks each, which is still pretty impressive. But wait, there's more. In 1964, the U.S. Mint also made a special mint set proof penny from Philadelphia. Now these coins were made from a smooth satin non-reflective finish and they don't know exactly why they were made or how many sets were produced. Coincidence or not, several turned up in the estate of a former U.S. Mint director and so far PCGS has graded 19 of these pennies between Mint State 64 and Mint State 68. The one that graded at a mint state 68 sold for $27,500. Talk about a valuable penny. Now, there are some theories that the special mint set coins were prototypes. As from 1965 to 1967, the U.S. Mint didn't have mint marks on any of the special mint set coins. They ended up taking the place of uncirculated mint sets. This coin you're looking at right now, graded at a SMS Specimen 65 by PCGS as a red and brown, that one sold for $9,000. This one graded by PCGS at a specimen 67 red and it sold for $15,600. So if you have one, you want to get the opinion of multiple people. So there you guys have it. The fascinating history of the 1964 Lincoln penny. If you never want to question the value of your coin again, the coin and currency mastermind class is now live. Click that link on the screen right now to learn more about rare coins and paper money. Go ahead. Click on the video right now. I'll see you inside.